Your Great Search is brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Every single week, Lady Ada uses her powers of engineering to find things on the DigiKey site so you can find things on the DigiKey site. So let us know when you find things or you can't find oh, you things. Or you can't find things. Well, a lot I'll of people say, I finally found the stuff I was looking for. Now I can go to production or now I can go to manufacturing because before I couldn't figure out all the parts, lead times, all the things that I needed to get done for this giant project. So, Lady Ada, what is this week's Great Search? Okay, for this week's Great Search, uh, let's go to the overhead. I want to find something that will let me take a board like this, which has four mounting holes in the corner, and then I have a separate board, and um, they're going to be connected together through this cable. Ta-da, like so. And then I want them to, instead of this kind of jangling off here, I want this to be able to mechanically be stable, connected here. And so on the version I have with the USB port, you know, this plugs in. And I can even get even shorter cables, right? I can get a cable that's like, you know, less than half a centimeter long. This would plug in together and it would be one physical shape. So this is, I actually got these from a, from a kit. Maybe it was a Pyroni kit, I don't remember. And like, you know, these snap into here. Oh, they don't come in easily. This might actually be the wrong size. Hold on, let me get the... Uh... Oh, my pliers, and we'll see. If not, I'll find the ones that are the right size, for sure. So, let's see, does this fit? Probably should have tried this before the video, but there you go. Okay, so this is uh, one, and let's do the other one. So you definitely, these are a little, little tougher to do, but they do fit in. And then this, also fits in. Also, quite challenging. So maybe I'll get ones that are a little easier to, uh, to fit in. Hold on, I'll do one at a time. Okay, so there's one. And then the other. Okay, so it looks like squeezing it is the best way to do it. But this is, a, you know, mechanically a strong way to hold these. And of course, you know, I only have two, but I would have all four. And then this would be like a very strong mechanical connection. I also want them to be shorter. Like the, these ones that I have in my uh, tool bin, they're, they're quite long. I think these are like a quarter inch or so. Let's see. These are, well, they're quite long. So they're, they're 0 0.32 inches. So I want something that's more like, yeah, like a quarter inch would be plenty. So that would be that far. So you came up with this, you're thinking about it, and then. But what are these? And you're gonna, and you're gonna do exactly what you would normally do. You just have we happen to like broadcast this and work with DigiKey on these. So now you're gonna find. I'm gonna find these. them. Okay, so I've shown what I'm looking for, right? right? And here's the thing, I thought that these were called board standoffs, but they're like actually not called board standoffs. So this is the thing. Knowing the name of the thing is part of the hardest part of the search. So let's go to uh, the DigiKey site. Okay, so uh, where do you search? So I actually originally looked for PCB standoffs. So I was like, oh, this is, this is a nylon PCB standoff, right? So um, there's almost like nothing that came up. And there was like LED spacer standoffs, internal blocks. I was like, OK, well, that's not the thing. So then I thought, like, maybe it's under standoff. And it turns out that you, you can go to board spacers standoffs but when I looked here, I found like a lot of um, like screws and, you know, hex thingies and like a lot of hex standoffs. And so I was like, well, you know, let's look for active, um, you know, and they're not threaded, right? Because they have the little thing. So I was like, well, I, it's not threaded. So I searched for this. So I spent a lot of time here, but all I could find was like these hex things. Um, and like technically those are hex you know, and I was like, well, what's the screw size? I was like, well, it's kind of like a number two, you know, maybe. Um, so I searched and searched and searched, but I actually, and I, I was a little bit like, what are these, you know, I couldn't find them. Because it turns out that these things are not, even though they are standoffs, they're not called standoffs. They're called um, PCB spacers. Different, 
different things. So, uh, sorry, sorry, they're not called PC spacers. They're called board supports, PCB supports. So it's a different, it's a different thing. So if you go to board supports, you're like, ah, that looks like the right thing. So even though they, they perform the same purpose as a standoff or spacer, they're called supports. So th this was kind of what I learned. So it's like, oh yeah, look, that's a thing. It's like, this is what I want. So let's find the exact one I'm looking for. So let's look for active and in stock. And then um, there's a couple different, you know, th there's a lot of options, but I think the most important thing is the, the board hole diameter, right? Because you saw like, you have to really like fit it in. So let's make sure that we have um, one that's really, it, ours is, our holes are, if you look at the uh, PCB, this is uh, 2.5 millimeter, which is, you know, 0.1 inch. So I'm gonna basically select all four of these options, or all three of these options. You definitely don't wanna go to two, too small, and you don't wanna go to three, too large. Okay, so yeah, like these are starting looking good. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, so then, um, it's like, well, how tall do we want it uh, between board height? And remember I said I want, you know, I want it to be higher than the USB-C port, for example. So, you know, if you measure the USB-C port, it's like, yeah, you know, 0.125, you know, uh, uh, an eighth, sorry, not a quarter inch, an eighth of an inch. But maybe I'd be able, willing to go up to a quarter. You know, just, I mean, in case, like, one, you know, one size is much more common or much more available. So let's look. And then there's, you know, we've basically, like, pared it down. So there's, like, now, okay, there's, like, these adhesives, which are kind of cool. Um, but this isn't what we want. So I'm going to get the snap lock, not adhesive type. And then um, it's mostly a matter of, like, okay, well, let's look at all the ones. So this one is kind of the closest to what I've got here. And it's also, uh, you know, what I like about all of these is that there's tons in stock. So it looks like Accentra makes some and uh, Keystone makes some, which is cool. And they're not too expensive. Worth makes them as well. But I like that this one, you know, Keystone, like I've heard of them, looks like they have a lot of options. They have one in the eighth inch. So let's look for uh, eighth inch or maybe like a little bit more, 3.5 millimeters. Yeah, I mean, there are not a lot of options for this. So of all of these, you know, the Keystone um, has a low price and has the most in stock. So what I did is, uh, first off, you can you can check out this cool 360. Always like the 360, you can zoom in. You can like rotate, eee, rotate. And then I looked at the data sheet, which I downloaded and Whenever I find a part that I like, especially a mechanical one, I look at the data sheet to see the catalog options because, you know, there's, there's sometimes um, more info. Like, for example, you know, there's tension fit, easy lock-in, and lock-in. And, like, I was like, well, this is the easy version, so it doesn't get any easier than this. Um, these look, like, much harder to fit, perhaps. But these are pretty easy, I guess. And then, yeah, they come in different lengths. They also have a tension fit. I guess I might get a couple of each of one of these to, to try them out. So it looks like one is permanent and one is tension fit. And this is permanent. So this one might be interesting because with this tension fit, I could have tell people like, oh, uh, you know, attach the permanent side to the Stemma QT board, sorry, to the, to the Trinky, and then the tension fit part um, goes above to the um, to the uh, QT board, so I think I like seven seven eight nine. Sorry, so eight eight seven nine and eight 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 eight. So I think I'm going to get both of those. So this one, and then uh, Keystone. Also, these are called board supports. So these. So I think I'll pick up. You know, I'll pick up like twenty of each. And then I'll try them out and, you know, I'll see which is physically feels easiest to use. Because with these, like, you really have to try them out. As you saw, like, this one's a little, can be a little tough to use. Hopefully the, um, the tension fit ones are perhaps a little bit easier. But I think this is a good solution. Um, this will 
this will let people mechanically attach boards on top um, without any soldering at all. And you know, I can include a, like a bag of ten with each uh, kit, and then you know, you can make your own custom trinket, basically. So it's custom trinket land, and that's the great search. <laughs>